Well, Thanksgiving, less than a week away now, and it's typically the start of the holiday. It's actually not less than a week away. A little it's bit more than a week away. Whew. <laughs> All Close right. call. Not to give you a heart attack at home. <laughs> but it's also the start of the holiday shopping season. That's not waiting. Yeah, Steph's like, well, how much time do I have to shop here? I've been so messed up this week. I don't know what it yeah, is. Yeah, this has been a really tough year for retailers. They've hurting due to the coronavirus pandemic. Fox 6 is Brett Lemoyne live at Brookfield Square Mall with the big question How's Santa Claus going <laughs> to handle this? And we're learning he's helping himself out this year, Brett. Yeah, that's right, Ben and Stephanie. Yeah, he will be here. Jolly old Saint Nick in all his glory. He will be here at Brookfield Square Mall, and he'll be posing for photos and uh, making lots of appearances, but it's going to come with some extra precautions, especially when county health officials warn this is the worst period of the pandemic for new infections. To look a lot like Christmas at Brookfield Square Mall, but one important person is arriving later than usual to celebrate. Santa is still coming to town this year. It's going to be very different. Santa normally poses for photos during the second week in November leading up to Christmas. This year he'll be here on Black Friday. I think that most families will understand the changes that are in place in order for him to be here. Marketing director Melissa Cavanaugh says families will need to book reservations in advance to meet Chris Kringle. The photo area is still being built. Santa will sit on his chair six feet behind a bench where families can gather and have their picture taken. It is contactless. Cavanaugh says everyone will be required to wear face masks, including Santa. As an extra precaution, Cavanaugh believes Santa and his helpers will all undergo regular COVID testing. Let's take care of each other and get through this together. On Wednesday, Mayfair Mall announced similar measures. Both will also offer virtual meetings with St. Nick. And while Black Friday doesn't exactly lend itself to social distancing, Cavanaugh says mall security will discourage large groups and each store will have an employee stationed at the entrance. We don't know what to expect for Black Friday. I don't know. I, I don't know what it is going to be like, but I do know that with the stores, Having a greeter at the front door um, that does eliminate the kind of what you're talking about, the whole uh, crowd entering all at once. Now, despite the pandemic, there's still a strong push to get people into the mall this season. Two weeks ago, Fox Business reported Brookfield Square's parent company, CBL Properties, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. And earlier this year, J.C. Penney, which is the last main anchor here at Brookfield Square, they also filed for bankruptcy. Reporting live in Brookfield, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Been a tough year in retail. I will say, though, Brett, back to Santa, he is like the king of social distancing. Stays away from people most of the year. <laughs> oh, he's safe at it. Well, yeah, you know, you want to give Santa a hug, though, and uh, unfortunately, he can't do that this year. So, but he will be listening, and he will listen uh, for your Christmas wish list as well. You can talk to him while you're here, or you can do it virtually online. To Brookfield Square has it uh, set up on their website. Yeah, or you can whisper at your house. He's always listening. All right, thanks, Brad. Appreciate it. <laughs>